Hi guys, this is one of your crew members from Fabu Bracelets, and today I will be showing you all of my collection of my bracelets. So, I have quite a lot to show you, so let's get started with that. My first one I'm going to show you is my first Cobra, and my last Cobra that I've, ever, that I've made so far, and that looks like this. This is a Cobra. And then... This one is part of my minion wear, so and I love minions, so here's my minion necklace. I do have minion earrings, but I think those are downstairs. So, but this is the charm, and I'm sorry for the background noise there. Um, this is the charm for it, and yeah, so, and then it's basically what I have on the other one. Then this is a Starburst bracelet. I use neon colors. And then I have a Butterfly Blossom. That looks like this. And then this one I just recently made. It's more for the holiday season. But it's a Jingle Bell bracelet. And it jingles like that. It's almost a ladder. Then I have a Glow in the Dark Triple Single. My friend had made me this one. Then this one is my personal invention, the Crazy Hazy. That's that. Then this is the Caterpillar. Upside down, kind of. We don't really know how to um, describe it as the Caterpillar because it doesn't almost look like the Caterpillar. Um, this one is not the feathered bracelet. I'm sorry, I do not remember what this bracelet is called. And yeah, it looks like that. Then this is an invention my another crew member had made. That looks like this. This is her invention. And then this is a hair tie, which you can check out on our page, Fabu Bracelets. And it doesn't stick in your hair because I have one in right now. Then this one is the totem pole. Looks like that. Then there's a band coming out there. Then this is a fishtail. I have millions of fishtails, so I'm not going to show you all of those. Take me an hour. Then I have a turtle. This was just originally just a charm. Um, this is the top of the turtle shell. Actually, the bottom. I'm sorry. And um, so and then it. I just added an ex black extension. This is a triple single that is neon that another crew member had made me. This is the feather. It was very difficult to make and it takes a total of 90 bands. Then on here, I have a ladder, a white with rainbow ladder. Excuse me a moment. I, I'm sorry about that, guys. I am back. This, I'm pretty sure that I did fail at, is a zippy chain, which is dark green, light green, and white. It's pretty bad. And then here I have a um, Team Spirit bracelet, which is navy blue, lime green, and black. Then I just have a single here, which you can also check out on our page. Our page is really new, so if you don't see the bracelet that we have, please comment on this video, and I will be um I will put that on, or our team will put that on. Here's another neon Starburst bracelet. Then I have a um sorry guys, can't speak today um. What's this one called? I'm sorry. Um, Hexafish, which it kind of turned out bad because I didn't know how to secure it. And then a band didn't pop, right? So, yeah, that one turned out bad. Then this one is a double triple single, which you can also check on our page. It's under the triple single, though, but it still teaches you how to make the double triple single. Now, this one is an invention that I only made once, and I can't remember how to make it again. So you can either wear it both ways, 
they're both they're all connected from the middle um thing so it's kind of weird you've got the top right there so it's really neat i wish i remembered how to make it now the next place that i'm going to show you is a crisscross confetti this i found on the rainbow loom page i g i like them a lot because um they describe a lot of things to you and it's just they um describe a lot of things really good to you and you can't mess up without with their descriptions they show you very slowly if it's your first time so yeah i like them a lot so if you have a chance to check out their page and it will be really um, helpful for you if you are a beginner expert whatever level you are you can always find videos on there for you so and then these two are the double uh uh double cross excuse me a moment all right i'm back these are um the double x sorry if I, if I said double cross and that is this looks like that and this one just looks a little bit neater if you can see close up the double x so you can also check out on the rainbow loom website i believe this i learned from a different video it's just a girl made it i forget her name and then this is the zigzag this you can learn at um michael's they have classes well at least the one that i'm used to um they have um classes where you can take and you can learn bracelets and there's even a paracord bracelet not really the paracord but it's an invention that the, excuse me the instructor had um invented and she said it doesn't um when bracelets get wet they tend to um i'm sorry what's the word i'm looking for they tend to shrink yeah and um so the rubber bands uh go together and they they kind of shrink so but the paracord doesn't do that when they get wet so then my next bracelet is an inverted fishtail that my friend taught me how to make without a um it's basically just like a fishtail. You can also check that out on our page. And I think I showed you the ladder. And do I have any on? No, I'm sorry. But, um, and then this one is a honeycomb. Looks like that. At least that's how my honeycomb turned out. It's really simple to make. Um, it is not on our page yet, but if you would like to learn how to make it, um, please, um, comment below like I had suggested and, uh, let us know. Then this is a cancer sign. It's really, really easy to make. You can just type in, um, how to make a cancer sign charm and, um, that's what it looks like. Now I chose white because it stands for lung cancer and, um, so yeah, and then I believe that is it. And so um thanks for watching guys. And I got one more thing to show you. Now this is really, really easy to make. It's just like a I took a toilet paper holder and wrapped it in duct tape and I really wanted a um display rack to put my bracelets on instead of having them all in a box, you know? So I'm I created this and you put your bracelet around it and it works perfectly. And you take both, no matter what size, it still fits, small or not, like that. And it looks really neat. All you need is again, all you need is toilet paper holder or a paper towel holder. Wrap it in duct tape or paper or whatever and there you go. So I wanted something simple, but I saw at the store that they were like $13 just for a small one so like why not just create up with my old one so thanks for watching guys please like comment and subscribe on our channel um and hope to see you all guys in my next video thanks for watching bye